Hi, I'm going to talk about what are the methods used to diagnose Chandra Sakuma. If a patient has symptoms of a Chandra Sakuma, the doctor may need to perform a physical examination based on the symptoms described by the patient. If the patient has a firm mass attached to the underlying bone with pain or tenderness, this may be an indication to suspect Chandra Sakuma. Recent noticeable growth of a lump, pain and swelling are often the most common complaint. Sometimes, however, there is no obvious evidence of pain and the diagnosis can be confused. However, in some patients this is the first indication that Chandra sarcoma may be present. Systemic symptoms can be associated with the size and location of the tumor. For example, pelvic tumor can present with sciatica, numbness or tingling, extra bladder pressure, or bowel problems. Tumor located in the rib cage can cause pressure upon the lungs, heart, liver or stomach. In order to determine the diagnosis properly, the doctor may order X-rays and other tests such as a CAT scan, MRI or bone scan. One of these tests, alone, is not enough to determine the diagnosis. So, a combination of these tests helps to reveal the size and characteristics of the tumor and adjacent tissue. The radiologist may detect changes consistent with Chandra sarcoma which is most often present on X-ray film as ill-defined lesions with a moderate-sized to large soft tissue component and often demonstrating calcified cartilage. CAT scan, MRI, bone scan, and ultrasound will give further clarification, and definition of the tumor, and or in order to determine if other organs are involved. What do radiologists look for in a bone scan? Benign osteochondroma may show normal to dramatically increased bone uptake. Osteochondroma is relatively uncommon in the spine. Normal to mild uptake in an exostosis generally excludes malignancy, however, marked uptake is not specific for malignant degeneration. More intense uptake is seen in growing children. Fracture, of course, results in intense uptake. Thus, the role of bone scan in exostosis or multiple hereditary exostosis is questionable. Thin sliced CT may provide the diagnosis if marrow and cortical continuity can be demonstrated. Chandra Sakuma, the second most common malignant spinal primary bone tumor, is a destructive, lytic tumor with a chondroid matrix consisting of rings and arcs radiographically. Cortical destruction is always present. A soft tissue component is common. In bone scan, these produce patchy or homogeneous increased uptake. According to an article entitled, In Chondroma and Chandra Sarcoma by Fleming D.J. Murphy M.D. The judicious use of computed tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, and nuclear medicine in conjunction with appropriate clinical data allows the radiologist to establish the correct diagnosis of benign or malignant medullary chondroid lesion in the majority of cases. There are no blood tests available at this time useful for diagnosing Chandra Sakuma. Blood tests will eliminate the possibility of other kinds of bone cancer. Once sufficient studies have been done the doctor may also cut out a small piece of tissue and have a pathologist look at it under the microscope to see if there are any cancer cells. This is called a biopsy. Return to questions posted by Elizabeth Munros at 324 labels, biopsy, bone scan, calcified cartilage, CAT scan, combination of tests, ill-defined lesions, MRI, no blood tests define Chandra Sakuma, PET scan, radiologist, thick cartilaginous cap, ultrasound, X-ray. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information.